My name is Justin Wren. Some people call me the Viking. After high school wrestling, I wanted to be the best in mixed martial arts. Got my first fight under my belt. It was about a minute and nine seconds that I, I got the knockout. Justin Wren, he is raining down the leather hard right now. And at 21 years old, I was looking at fighting in the UFC on one of the pay-per-views, but Ultimate Fighter season 10 opened up. And in the UFC, that was my childhood dream. That's what I, I hoped to be. And now that dream was a reality. Growing up was probably similar to a lot of people, kind of in a little country town. In middle school, I was a heavy set kid. So um, I was a little chubbier than the rest and um, had pimples on my face. And at that age, kids, kids can be mean. Kids would poke my belly, you know, make fun of me every chance they got. I would say at the beginning of the bullying, you try to, you try to laugh it off. Eventually, um, start believing the things that people are saying about you. I think I was internalizing it all, just keeping it in. Started going through depression, uh, a real heavy depression. It was difficult. I felt all alone. My crush in eighth grade, I got an invitation to her, her birthday party. On the invitation, it said that there was a costume contest and the, the winner got a prize. She loved Transformers, and I was able to make myself a, a cardboard Transformer outfit. And whenever I got to the backyard, I opened the door, and, uh, and there was all the, you know, all the cool kids. I was greeted by everyone pointing and laughing, and it was a big setup. It wasn't a, a costume party at all. I was just the, the only one duped into it so I could be Again, the laughing stock of, of the cool crowd. And you know, hearing her say, I, I can't believe you thought you were cool enough to come to my, my birthday party. I remember uh, one of the guys saying, you're so worthless, you should just kill yourself. And I remember just absolutely believing those words of you're, you're worthless, considering maybe I should just kill myself. You believe the things your peers say about you and, and maybe even believe the things they say you should do. And I absolutely um, began to, to hate myself. So for me, freshman year in high school, I found, I found wrestling. And I thought that was, that was something that was great for me personally at the time. Someone that was believing all the words that people were saying about me and, and finding something I could be passionate about, finding something I could love, finding something that, I, that could keep me active, get me in shape, you know, build up some worth in me, value, self-value. At my school at that time, I was the only high school wrestler. So then all the words start getting thrown around. All the, the mean things uh, kids say, they think it's jokes, but it, but it really hits home. And, and so for the, my freshman, sophomore year, the bullying continued. It, 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 it didn't just continue, it escalated, it got worse. Um, the bullying turned into physical bullying. I again transferred to another high school that, that had a great wrestling team. And, and I wasn't so good at it when I first started. But there was a turning point for me where I found value in me as a person. You need to find value in yourself and to grab hold of that. You know a bully's not gonna value you, so you have to value yourself. The, the thing that I didn't know that I know now is that talking about it really helps. It's so much better than keeping it in because keeping it in is only gonna to lead to very negative circumstances. And wrestling was an outlet for me to get that out. It was a positive outlet for me. When I first started wrestling, my coach told me what I think is something crazy because I was losing. In my first many, many matches, I just got destroyed. I mean, guys just could hold me down with one arm and pin me. But he told me that if I gave it my all, he promised that I'd be state champion by the time I was a senior. After my first win, he told me, go home, write down state champion. So I went home and I wrote down national champion and put it above my bed. We just started working towards that goal. And uh, the next year, I was state champion. And then the next year after that, I was national champion. Everyone's got something that, that, that they can be good at and they just need to find it and then pursue it. And so I think the journey of pursuing my passion really started to bring me out of believing the things that people were saying about me. If you're being bullied, that just know that, that you matter, that you have value, that, that your life is worth a lot. And even whenever you don't feel like it is, keep fighting through it.